Next, I'd like to invite Kapil Bhatia from stylebelek.com. Sir has a BE in IT from Vidyalanka Institute and an MBA and three years experience in Accenture. One year in Dish, Dish Network USA. Sir is also a co-founder of StyleMelon for the past one year, one and a half years. Uh, so if you could please uh, come and take the dais. Uh, we expect points on reactions and feedback of the project, commercial viability of the project, skills expected from students. Thank you, sir. Uh, first of all, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, and also a big clap for all you students and as well as the professor for giving you all this opportunity. Like when I was in college doing my engineering, we did not have this kind of a platform to showcase to the entrepreneurs or the people who are in the industry. We learned a lot from the people who are already working, doing something on their own. So a big clap for all you guys. So, uh, Today's session was pretty good. The amount of knowledge you guys have is tremendous, like IoT, 3, 3D printing, VR, AR, so many new technologies all of you were trying. I don't know which one will be the best one to go forward, but at least you know most of these things. You know, like this project like works for entrepreneurship. So what I learned was that many people have a good project, but they don't know how to move it forward. So, few things which I could add is that you should all have a business plan as such, which will give you what target audience you are going to go, which market you are going to serve, how you are going to make a process, what is the business model, all these things. Other thing which I like was that you should go out, talk with entrepreneurs or managers or whatever product you have, go and talk with these guys, like the people who are already implementing it. Try to know what they want, so that you can make a better product. Like I saw in the first year they had a helmet, which was, if you have been become, if you come into an accident, it will send out SMS. So it was a nice concept, but they are not going to implement it. It has to be implemented by the helmet manufacturer. So you have to go out, talk with people, because you have good projects, but this project can't be done on your own. You need guidance. College is a good way, but still, uh, going forward, you need guidance. So. I think you should go forward and talk with guys. As most of the people here said, try to reuse. Don't try to make it new. It will save time and also it will save a lot of errors which will come up in the project. And if you have, if you think you have a very good product, try to get some people to buy it from you. Ask for money. Like if you think you have the best product, if you go to the market and tell them you have Mirai Karikle, Koini Karikle. People are like, why should I buy it? Even you think of it, you have mobile phones which are competitors of Apple, but still people are not buying it, even though it has a better feature, because there's a mindset. So even if you have the best product, that doesn't mean that people will buy it. Try to see how people react to your product. You know, if 10 people are ready to sponsor you, buy a product, that time you have a very good product. You can then keep on iterating and make it perfect. Don't try to bring all the features at the same time. Try to bring a minimal viable product which will serve your purpose and then as, as the time move forward, keep on adding features. If you go for an all or test out, the thing is that you will never have a product which will be the market. You will always try to keep on evolving. See how Android did, like it started with 1.0 which was really horrible. But now it is one of the best iOS competitors, there is no other competitor remaining. And for people who really want to pursue entrepreneurship, the only advice is that you start working because right now in college you have a different perception of life. When you start working, I mean, as compared to a college where even if your professor says something, you can go home and forget about it. In office, that doesn't happen. If the boss says that you don't work properly, the next day you are going to get a principal, which is not going to be happy for anyone. So try to work, understand how industry work, and if you really want to continue on your project, from the money you earn from your work. Work on weekend and try to improve yourself. Most of the time, I saw that you guys are in a shell, like you don't know what other people are saying. So you have to go out, talk with people about your product. Like if you think your product is very good, try to talk with people and they will give you a positive criticism, which you should take in your stride so that you can improve your product better. I really liked a lot of projects here. Most of them have a viability. I don't know how big of a viability is there, but try to go out talk with people and then only uh, you can grow. Like nowadays there is a place for entrepreneurship. 
I just concluded the last minute. Entrepreneurship is a very difficult thing to do. Yeah, we can start it off, but continuing it is a challenge. Not we see the pictures of everybody gain, getting a lot of funding. It is such an easy life. It doesn't happen. There are examples like Tiny Owl who got a lot of funding, but where are they now? They are closed. There was a time when money was flowing easily, but now it is not. So there are going to be good products coming in, services, anything. Whatever you want, you can do, but it's going to take patience, time. So just because somebody else is doing it, you don't have to do it. There's always a time. McDonald's started at the age of 57. So not everybody comes at the same time. So don't be left out if somebody is ahead of you or somebody is behind you because this is not a race, this is a marathon. Somebody is always going to be ahead, somebody is always going to be behind. So good luck to all of you and hopefully some of you will rate and others will be also great. <laughs>